What's up world? Thanks for jumping in for another ride. Here a little while back, we actually got our hands on a 2024 Mustang GT with the premium pack. And doing that video, we had talked about maybe getting our hands on a little bit of a different Mustang, which is an extremely rare Mustang these days. Well, guess what, everyone? We got our hands on a 2024 Mustang Dark Horse. And additionally, what I'm most excited about is most Dark Horses are coming with the automatic. Well, this particular Dark Horse is opted with the six speed. All right, guys, so I need to do a couple of things real quick. First thing is I got to thank you for clicking or tapping on this video. This channel is coming up on 150,000 views, and, well, we need more subscribers. Colin and I are really excited that we're making great connections and great relationships in the automotive community, and we're getting to explore vehicles like this 2024 Mustang Dark Horse. Also, I need to go ahead and thank our friends over at Paul Murray Ford in Kaufman, Texas, paulmurrayford.com. Please go ahead and check them out. And thank you, Paul Murray Ford, for the opportunity to check out this 2024 Mustang Dark Horse. And right up front, I do want to go ahead and apologize for any audio craziness because the wind's blowing like 35 miles per hour and we're doing all that we can to go ahead and keep the wind off of the mics out here but the wind is blowing like mad that's just the reality of filming outside i do want to thank our friend jose over at the palm murray Forest service department for allowing us to get in between the service department buildings to get out of as much of that wind as possible that is extremely cool and well personally i thought this was kind of a cool backdrop so we just wheeled the dark horse right up here in front of the service base and well let's go ahead and check out the 2024 ford mustang dark horse we had the opportunity to check out this car on fairly short notice we were actually visiting with the owner of paul murray ford and we were checking out some truck stuff and well it just came up that they were allocated for a dark horse so the opportunity to check out this dark horse came on really short notice so our opportunity to do research and normally Colin and i will try to do several days worth of research on vehicles just to make sure that we're as accurate as possible that does not mean that we are always 100 percent on every single thing and we always try and update the comments down below Anytime that we know that anything is inaccurate or we try to go ahead and note that in the video, but we didn't get to do a ton of research on the dark horse, although we do have some pretty good information on the dark horse. So I'm, I'm going to make this super easy. I want to go ahead and grab the dealer sticker off of the car because we just had it setting up on the dash. And I'm going to go ahead and share all the information for this 2024 dark horse right off of the dealer sticker. That way we just make it quick. And as we're doing that, just as a reminder, we did do the video on the 2024 Ford Mustang GT with its performance pack. And in that video, we did cover a lot of the standard features and the options available for the 2024 Ford Mustang lineup of cars. So I'm not going to go back over a lot of those details. I'm going to go ahead and put the link down in the description below. That way you can check out that video for the Ford Mustang GT. And you can see what a lot of those standard and available options are. So really quick, I'll just run over a few of the details of this dealer sticker and I'll go ahead and put it up on the screen. That way, if you want to, you can just pause this video and you can go over all the details. Now, remember at the time of this video, this car is currently on the showroom floor at Paul Murray Ford in Kaufman, Texas. So if anyone is interested in purchasing a very rare 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse, please do me a favor, reach out to Paul Murray and tell him that the guys over at Downshifting 76 sent you. So the color of this 2024 Dark Horse is going to be the blue ember metallic and the interior is going to be that standard Dark Horse black and blue combination. And we'll check that out when we jump in. And again, this car is equipped with the premier color accent, which will set you back $3,000 $995. This dark horse is also equipped with the Bayon Olsen 12 speaker audio system. Now this particular dark horse is equipped with the 19 by 10 and a half inch wheels up front with the Pirelli P0s and in rear we have the 19 by 11 inch wheels. The tires are a staggered size with the 305 30 19s up front and the 315 30s out back. Now MSRP on this 2024 dark horse is $76,850. Now let's go over what you're going to get with this dark horse. Now I'm going to do my best to break this up into chapters but if you'll stick around to the end of this video after getting our hands on that 2024 Ford Mustang GT with the performance pack, as well as we did a comparison to my personal 2014 Shelby GT500. I'll let you know where I believe this Mustang stands in the lineup of Mustangs and really who I feel is the primary consumer of the Ford Mustang GT, the GT with the performance pack, and the Dark Horse models are. Now, the 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse is equipped with the variable cam timing 5-liter V8 engine. And that V8 engine makes 500 horsepower and 418 foot-pounds of torque. Now, the Performance Pack GT also makes 418 foot-pounds of torque, which tells us one thing, that the primary horsepower improvement on the Dark Horse is coming from two things. A little bit of ECM tweaking and additional power on that top end. Because, well, the Dark Horse will rip all the way to 8,000 RPM. And it's extremely impressive to me personally, if you break that down, that it makes 100 horsepower per liter. Now, the Dark Horse can be equipped with an automatic. However, ours is equipped with the preferred TR3160 Tremec transmission. And I do have to say that that Tremec transmission is going to be quite a bit more durable than that MT82 that comes standard equipment in the GT package. Now, the Dark Horse equipped with the six-speed is going to be equipped with the 373 Linmus Slip Differential. So the two primary package options on the 2024 Mustang Dark Horse are going to be the Dark Horse Appearance Package and the Dark Horse Handling Package. 
both of which this car is equipped with. But as we stated before, that this particular 2024 Mustang Dark Horse is equipped with that handling package and the optional 19 by 10 and a half up front wheels and the 19 by 11s out back. Now there is one option as of delivery of this vehicle that I do not know if it's available at this point, but it's supposed to be a late year option and that will be a full carbon fiber wheel up front and back. And it's gonna be that same size. So it's gonna be 19 10 and a half by 1911s, there will be a full carbon fiber wheel at that point. Just know that that is going to be a late model year option. So really quick, just like we always do on this channel, we want to give you a really quick overview of the exterior of this vehicle and we'll go over the inside. And at that point, I'll go ahead and let you know where I really think that this dark horse stands out in the lineup and who the appropriate consumer is for this 2024 Mustang dark horse. And the first thing as I approach the 2024 Mustang Dark Horse, the first thing that catches my eye is the absolutely ridiculous Brembo brakes behind those 19 by 10 and a half inch wheels. And they are absolutely massive. Six pistons in the front. We have four pistons in the back. They do have an absolutely great color scheme with that blue on blue. I really like the brakes. And additionally, looking at the RS Pirellis, this is a much, much more aggressive tire than what comes on the GT. This is actually a track inspired tire that's on this car. And I have to tell you that the handling of those P0s is absolutely phenomenal. And I've talked about Pirelli tires before being a personal preference, but that particular model of Pirelli is absolutely amazing. And as we make our way around the back, you can see that we have that quad exhaust. And so before we continue around the rest of the car really quick, let me go ahead and cut in some video and some amazing audio of what this car sounds like in the different exhaust modes. <laughs> You can see like most standard Ford vehicles now we have the easy fill so the capless fill for the fuel tank and as we make our way around you can see that we have those absolutely massive p zeros out back i really do love the way those tires look they're absolutely great i gotta be honest comparing this car to my 2014 shelby gt500 i absolutely love my gt500 but i actually wish that it had this stance as compared to what it currently looks like or what can actually fit under the 1314 gt 500s this car actually reminds me more of being a direct competitor with some of those higher end corvettes and vipers out there with the size and stance of these tires and i really wish my gt 500 had that not to put down my gt 500 it's just where the mustang has come and it's come a very long way in the stance department i think it looks absolutely fantastic and so i think that is really my first impression of the exterior and so really quick i'm gonna swing around open the hood and i'll give you a shot of that five liter v8 and one cool thing about the 2024 mustang gt and dark horse that i had mentioned with that gt is the fact that that vent is functional and so most of the time those vents are just an aesthetic feature but these vents are actually functional to help cool that v8 engine and so like i stated earlier 415 foot pounds of torque 500 horsepower 8000 rpm dual electronic throttle bodies and dual inlets and you also have that Dark Horse logo up top of that strut tire brace. The amazing part about this engine is it idles like your daily driver if you're going to go to work and back. And then at 8,000 RPM, it makes absolutely fantastic power. And it does it throughout the RPM curve. 
Hey, I need to interrupt for just one moment. I need to thank our friends over at Paul Murray Ford in Kaufman, Texas. Paul Murray Ford has been family owned and operated since 1952. They have the capacity and the know-how to place any of your custom Ford orders. They also keep an extensive inventory of new and used vehicles, as well as they have a full service and parts department to assist with all of your needs. So please do me a favor, check out the guys over at paulmurrayford.com. Also, I want to thank you for clicking or tapping on this video really quick. We truly believe that time is our most precious asset. And so you spending time with us on this channel is truly appreciated. Now, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, make sure that you hit that bell notification so that you're notified anytime we upload the latest content. And now back to our view and tour of the 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse. So down the door sill, we got that Dark Horse logo. And additionally, this car is equipped with the standard Dark Horse blue with blue stitching and black insert interior. And I absolutely love this interior. To be honest, if you had told me that anything was going to be blue and black, I would have kind of questioned it. But this car absolutely comes out amazing with that blue and black. I do like the color scheme of this car. The next thing that sticks out is the race inspired steering wheel with the blue stitching. I absolutely love the steering wheel on this car. In fact, I really like the Alcantara and leather steering wheel in my GT500, but comparing it to this steering wheel, I have to say that I'm kind of leaning towards this steering wheel as my preference because of the race inspiration. And for whatever reason, unless it's a vintage car, I really like the thick steering wheel as opposed to the little skinny steering wheels. I don't know why, just a weird personal preference, but I really like to fill this steering wheel in hand. And we've just driven this car around the parking lot a few times. We haven't gone out and really aired this car out. And this car is supposed to be delivered to someone, so it's really not our place to go out and air it out. This is definitely not a press release car. So we just got lucky enough to get our hands on it. So let me jump in real quick. We'll kind of fire it up. We'll go over through a few basics and I'll let you know where I believe this car lines up with the consumer. So obviously the first thing that catches your eye about this car is the display and the display in this car is absolutely gorgeous. So we know that the passenger door is ajar and we know that I don't have my seatbelt on, but we're not going anywhere. So we're not too concerned about that. Other than that, we have the exhaust modes that we had talked about and I absolutely love the exhaust modes. All the instrument displays, the track apps, everything is basically the same as the GT. So I'm not gonna go over the, all that again. I can reference you over to that Mustang GT with the performance pack video and you can check all that stuff out there. I just really wanna focus on what exactly is the dark horse since some of the stuff is the same with the GT. And over on the dash, you can see that we have that dark horse logo with the production number. One of the things that our GT did not have that I think is really cool about this car since it is equipped with the six speed is the shift indicator. So we can come over here, we can set our shift light, we can set our tack for whatever RPM we want to shift at. I really think that that is an absolutely cool feature. So we can also set it for different track applications where we want that set. So, and we can go up in 100 RPM increments. I think that is a very cool feature. Additionally, we have the standard rev match and launch control. That is one thing that we did not have on our GT is rev matching, obviously, because, well, we're in a six speed and we have that drip rate. We had covered a little bit of information on that with the GT. And of course, up above the shift indicator, we have all of our performance apps. So launch control, and we also have our lap timer, brake performance and acceleration timer. So that's the basics of that. And again, like I said, I'm not gonna cover everything multiple times since we did that in the GT. All the instrument clusters are the same as the GT and we did cover that in the GT. And as you can see, I immediately went to that 87 through 1993 box body gauge mode. So that is the basic interior of the Dark Horse. Like I say, everything else is basically the same as the GT. This just has some more premium features, I guess, if you will. And it does have some more track inspired features. So I really like the interior of the Dark Horse. So let's jump out real quick and I'll tell you where I think this car stands as far as the consumer goes. So in the last couple of videos that Con and I worked on was the 2024 Ford Mustang GT with the performance pack. And while we had our hands on that 24 GT, we actually did a comparison of my 2014 Shelby GT500 to that GT. And I have to say that it was a very long day. And once we were all wrapped up, Con and I were actually riding home in the GT500. And we were talking about the car and just talking about how the day went. And actually, Colin summed it up the absolute best that I could have thought of. And I wish I would have put this in this video, actually. But I think he said it absolutely perfectly. And so we were talking about kind of the ride of the GT500. And it was a little more harsh. And steering input was a little more abrupt. And I really don't know how to put it. I guess it was just a little bit more of a violent car, if you will, or a more intuitive car. I don't know if any of that makes sense, but it's just really how it is. And so basically, the words that Colin said was the fact that well, the GT is a Ford Mustang GT and it's comfortable and it does a lot of things really well. And well, the GT500, it's more of a Shelby. It's just a Shelby. And so it doesn't have as great of a ride. The steering isn't quite as smooth. It has more of that race car feel. It has more of that 1960s Cobra DNA in it. Although I'm not comparing it to a Cobra by any stretch of the imagination, it's just more of that race inspired car. 
And so I think that's where the GT really fits in. I think it's such a well-rounded package that anybody can buy that car. They can drive it every single day and they can go to a track with it. Now with that, I'm gonna do a little bit of a comparison of my personal GT500 to that GT as well as the Dark Horse really quick. Here's where I think that Dark Horse stacks up. I really think that that GT with performance pack does everything exceptionally well and you can drive that car every single day and I really like that about that car. I also said in the video that there is no way that I would wanna drive my 2014 Shelby GT500 every day. So where does the Dark Horse stack up? Well, I have to say that the Dark Horse absolutely rides great. It's not a violent car. It doesn't beat you. And again, we're not going to get this car out and put a ton of miles on it because this is someone else's car. So we've just kind of gone around the parking lot and spent a little bit of time with it. So I can't tell you a great detail as far as driving experience goes because we're not going to go out and beat on someone else's car. Again, this is not a press car. But what I can say is that the Dark Horse is $20,000 more than the Ford Mustang GT with the performance pack. So I think there's two choices to be made. One with the Dark Horse is, do you want to spend $20,000 extra? And if you do want to spend $20,000 extra, what are you getting for that $20,000? Well, you're getting absolutely massive race-inspired brakes. You're getting race-inspired wheels. You're getting race-inspired tires. You're getting absolutely amazing technology when it comes to some of those track apps and electronics. And additionally, I also have to say for that $20,000 extra, well, you're getting that Tremec six-speed transmission. So if you're going to buy a Mustang that's going to be basically a daily driver that may go every once in a while to a track, maybe drag strip, autocross, road course, the GT will do fine. You can do some aftermarket mods to it. You can spend a couple extra bucks here and there. Just don't go crazy with it because at the end of the day, it's probably not going to be worth it if you're going to be looking at spending another 20 grand. If you're going to spend 20 grand and you can get your hands on one, reach out to Paul Murray Ford in Coffin, Texas, and go ahead and get the dark horse. Between the tire and wheel package, the massive brake package, and the six-speed transmission, there's no way that you can build the additional performance that the dark horse has to offer for $20,000, especially when you start considering labor into that. I believe for anyone that wants to be able to drive a Mustang, it's going to be street legal, but you want to go out to a track and you want to get everything that there is to offer out on that track, the Dark Horse is definitely the option to go with. So I really think that in the current lineup of the Ford Mustangs, I think that's where the Dark Horse stands. So I think for anyone that wants to own a Ford Mustang and go to the track more than that occasional once or twice a year, and they want to really focus on performance, I think it is the absolute bang for the buck package for the performance enthusiast. Not only with Ford, absolutely across the board, I think this is the absolute deal of the day especially when you consider what prices are for new vehicles now. I believe that the Dark Horse is the absolute performance bargain on the market currently. Now, please do me a huge favor. For anyone out there that has any experience with the Dark Horse, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. And you know the deal. I always got to thank you personally. I want to thank you for hanging out with us and checking out this 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse. So please do me a huge favor. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Check out another video. And as always, jump in for another ride.